Hey there, welcome. I'm Anad Asiva here again with a brand new tutorial for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can control your DMX lighting by twitch points. So if that interests you, make sure you stick around. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you control your DMX lighting by twitch points on a Mac. Uh, so I purchased this laser off AliExpress um, and it's got DMX input. Uh, another thing you'll need is this USB to XLR, 3-pin XLR. And depending on your DMX lights, I got an XLR to what looks like an RJ45 lead to basically convert the connection. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how it all works. So first thing you need to do is uh, get your light into DMX mode. On this one, it's got an LED screen. Some of them have um, what's called dip switches. Check the manual on how to set that up. Uh, if you only have one device, it's usually, you have to set it to the number one on the LED screen model. Um, different devices have different ways, particularly dip switches. Um, so yeah, check the manual on your light for how to set that up. So then what you do, just get your RJ45 or your XLR, connect it into the DMX in port and connect the other end up to the USB to XLR or straight to the USB. And then we go to the computer and start programming it. Now I've got a DJM 750 Mark II. Now to change the MIDI settings on this, we click the utility button, hold it down, and then cycle through to get to your MIDI channel. Uh, I've already changed that, hit the tap, and then it's de by default it's on channel one, and we've just got to change this to channel two or a different channel other than channel one, otherwise it interferes with the software that we're gonna use. So when you get your USB to DMX cable, There'll be some drivers you need to install. Um, what you need to do then is go into your audio MIDI, audio MIDI setup app in the, on the Mac. Um, you'll see this IAC driver. Now mine by default wasn't enabled or online. You just gotta go in there and tick device online and leave the rest as it is. These are the, this is the software I use. So Lumia Stream obviously does the controls the lights via Twitch alerts and point redemptions and things like that. Um, the other app is JV Lighting DMX Control. I'll put a link in the notes. Uh, this is free from the App Store. There is a paid version. Um, I couldn't get the paid version to work. So you won't need more than 24 channels. The paid version gives you, I think, 60 or whatever it is. Um, but for what we're doing, this one will work fine. Now, each one of these channels will control a different element in your light. So first thing you do, uh, crank the master up, otherwise nothing will work. So for my light, channel one turns it on and off. So you crank that on. Channel two does like a strobe effect. Uh, channel seven does color, um, as you can see in the video. Um, but each one of these will do different things like channel 11, I think makes it turn. Uh, so you need to go through all this and figure out what each one does and get a basic preset. So what I've done is um, I've gone through and set up some presets. Um, now these bottom channels here are all your presets. So channel one does this star effect. Channel two does this, I don't know, whatever you're gonna call that. Um, three does this twirly thing and so forth and so, so on. So we'll go through and set up a scene now. Um, so I'm gonna... So what we'll do, we'll just copy one of these that we've already done. Uh, what have we got? So what we're gonna do is now, um, we've got our presets, whatever, however we want them. And we need to save these as a preset channel. So what you do, once you've got all your levels the way you want, you uh, right click on the channel and go create preset from channel. So what that should do now, if we reset this, when we select 12, channel 12, it'll save, the, it'll, it'll play that pattern through the laser. So what you need to do now is um, get Lumia Stream to trigger one of these channels. 
Um, now I've got a MIDI keyboard, which makes it a bit easier. So when you press the key, it'll play it. But we need to assign a MIDI note to these keys. So if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, there's this free app called MIDI Keys. Um, does exactly what it says, it's your MIDI keyboard. Now, as you can see, um, when I'll press a certain key, it'll trigger certain patterns. Now, we want to set scene 12 as a key. Now, Lumia Stream, for some reason, the notes aren't, or they don't match up. So, C2 in here will actually be C1 in um, Lumia Stream. So, let's just uh, make your move. So, currently, when I press C2, nothing will happen. What we need to do is click, right click on the 12, MIDI Learn, press C2, and then that should set that to C2. Then what we need to do is go into Lumi Stream, go into our commands. I'm gonna create a Twitch point. So these are the ones I set up earlier, obviously. We go add command. Uh, we don't want any light change. So say we want this to be, um, what did our pattern look like? Uh, okay, we'll just call it laser triangle. Laser triangle. Um, 100 points, we'll set it to go for five seconds. Uh, then what we got to do is go into this MIDI section. And now what will happen is uh, we select our IAC driver. What we want is the note to go on, channel one. Now, this is where I talked about the DJ mixer um, and had to set the channel two, because when it was channel one, it would, when I twisted the knobs or um, use the sliders it would actually move these so to avoid the conflict we changed it on the uh, mixer uh, note to send so this is where the notes don't seem to line up so we set c2 as our 12th channel 12 preset so in here as you'll see if we go uh, c2 c2 add midi uh, so if we test that, it doesn't seem to, oh, I've got to do that properly, uh, C2, save. So if we test that, it won't do anything. So we actually have to set this to C1, save, test, and there you go. You can see the uh, light triggers. Now, even though we set this to go for five seconds, that laser will stay on constantly. What we have to do is actually set an end. Now, what we do is use these exact settings, but instead of note on, change it to note off. Um, where we? C1, add MIDI, test, apply. So now you can see what if we go and test it, it sends the C1 note to channel 12 for four or five seconds. And goes off. Now to test that further, if we go into our um, Twitch, you see that laser triangle appears there, click on it, redeem, and away we go. And it is as simple as that. It just, you'll, it'll take a bit of time to kind of figure out the patterns you want or the movements. Um, there's so many different DMX lights out there and, do, and controls, you can kind of do whatever you want. So I'll be putting links to all the software and hardware I'm using in this video into the video description. If you have any questions, make sure you just leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.